This is our brother JP. I recently met this young man. Well, I say young man. <laughs> brother, no, I recently met my brother in church. He was talking to Chris. And then uh, then I then we started in a conversation. All of a certain, you know, we I feel bonded with this guy and conversation, things like that. He's talking about how he used to be in this church. I was like, wow, he has so much knowledge, you know, help he can bring to the church. But I want him to come and give us a testimony because he's he used to be a member of this church, right? Grew up in the church, a child of this church. Now God brought him back. So he's going to share one testimony. He has many, but he's going to share a short one with us right now. Uh, I give God the glory. Uh, I am a walking testament of the living word of God, where he says, I will not leave you or forsake you. All right, and taste, I don't only taste, but I see the goodness of it. For the sake of time, I'm gonna speed it up. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Jermaine, or they call me JP. I came to this country when I was seven. Uh, turned my back on God at 14 and my father, left home. I was out in the wilderness. I've done things that you won't even cross your mind across. But when I look back at it and where God has brought me, I remember having a conversation with my mother and it didn't really resonate with her spirit. And her prayers was, God, let him use that same big mouth to give you praise. Actually reminded me about it last week. Now fast forwarding, with all the dangers that I've been in, I'm talking from being caught in, in shootouts and stuff like that. Uh, when I look back at it, God really preserved me. And the last two times I was in this building, it was, despite where I was, I had to come and give honor to uh, Brother Junior when he passed away. And Dave Lockhart, it was the last time I was in this building. I've been to more funerals than weddings. But through all the midst of all of this, God preserved me. I don't know why he preserved me in certain situations when I look back at it. And I remember I was in one situation that I went to speak to one of my brothers who was well known in here, and he said, come. I said, well, I just don't want to come for service. I just don't want to come have a conversation. What time is Sabbath school? He gave me the time, I came. And when I came here, I didn't know what to expect. But God has done a series of things in my life where he has moved me to see my mother. He has moved me back to this place. And after the greeting and the welcome that I've got, I, I, I was so amazed. It was like I never left. That really touched my heart. It really did. Because there's people who know me in different fashions, but you guys, especially, wow. You never judge me. You've seen me, you've never judged me, you've always shown me love. I thank God for your life. I thank God for, for me meeting you and growing and knowing you. And there's many others in this church, but for the sake of time, God brought me back here. And when he led me to my mother was to show something that was happening. And when he led me back here, with all the welcoming that I got, Elder General said to me, I just put your name in two days ago for prayers. So I want to let you guys know, there's a few others that used to go to this church for me, we're all runners out there. And if God has preserved my life to bring me back here, those other 200 names on that list, they're coming back. There's a revival coming, all right? So I just want to let you guys know as a living testimony, God's word will never return to him void. I thank God and I give him the glory for that. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Wow. Powerful, powerful testimony. 